then we're supposed to believe that these two things aren't related. 87,000 new IRS agents. And then the crossing of the Rubicon. The action that will never be able to be undone. The moment in time that we'll all remember when the Federal Bureau of Investigation, with 270 man hours and 30 agents, went into Mar-a-Lago to desecrate and dare I say, invade a president's home over a paperwork dispute. And a paperwork dispute. And by the way, they let Hillary Clinton smash devices and delete 33,000 emails. Where's the FBI raid for Hunter Biden and Chinese Communist Party deals? Where is the FBI raid for all these other people? And. I'm telling you right now, what they did this last week, 87,000 new IRS agents going into Mar-a-Lago, it's very clear what's happening here. There's no going back. This is no longer a debate of tax policy. It's no longer a debate of, well, you know, I think the Democrats uh, mean very well. We just have different ways of getting there. They raided our president's home. There is no going back from this, everybody. There is no going back. We need to send a message to the media right now because we got a lot of them. We got the New York Times and all of them. The raid at Mar-a-Lago only makes me like Donald Trump even more. I trusted our federal law enforcement I want to trust the people in the FBI. I'm sure there's some phenomenal people that are doing some great work there. But it's more in the boots and the suits. But how many times do we have to make excuses for these people? They spied on Donald Trump, and we know with Peter Strzok Stroke Smirk's text messages with his lover, Lisa Page, well, he's not going to win, is he? We have insurance policy. They lied about the dossier. They destroyed evidence. Did James Comey's apartment ever get raided? How about Andy McCabe? But it's not just Trump, Peter Navarro. Steve Bannon, Scott Perry had a cell phone taken. Wake up, everybody. They are weaponizing the police against you. And guess what? You know what they fear? They fear what's happening here tonight. Bigger crowds, more momentum, more energy. We need to send a message to them. The more you raid, the more we gather. The more you confiscate, the louder we get. You do not get to determine the rules of engagement anymore. The people are back in charge, not federal law enforcement.